Coach Derek James here with us today. Coach, you know, Jermel Charlo is a dynamic fighter, you know. Uh, someone who's kind of been overlooked on the pound for pound list. You know, and he shines on the biggest stages. We've seen him against Hatley, we've seen him against Lubin, we've seen him against most recently Rosario. All guys that people believe will give him some issues. What do you think he has in him that's different than most fighters? When it comes I to the big has, stage. I think he believes that he has to show and tell everybody. And I think that from his perspective, I think that he feels disrespected that he still has to show and tell people who he really is because he keeps doing it on a consistent basis. This is our 10th fight. He had eight knockouts in 10 fights. His last, so think about that. Who has that type of resume? Who, see, who has nobody? I mean, who, in the last 10 fights, maybe, uh, I mean, maybe only Javante Davis. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Javante Davis. And, but at the same time, but he hadn't had 10 championship fights in a row. That's true. Wilder. But, and, but Mel's but, stopping, but guys. Not, but he didn't, but he had, he, not, he didn't knock out for the first time, he didn't knock out for the so. And he lost the second time, so. We, so, I mean, like, I love the answer. Well, I know the shot at him. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, exactly. At the same time, so who has ten championship bouts in a row? This is the tenth one right there. So what you saying? Uh, I, I, my thing is like, you know, he after his loss against Harrison, he's grown. Like, right. would you agree with that? And, and how has he grown? Like, why, why has Mel kind of changed his attitude almost and matured? I think that when you have something and you almost lose it, it makes you want it even more, right? And because you, because when you get it, you can't imagine losing it. But when you, and not really lose it, but they take it from you, yeah. you say, okay, I got it. And you, it's a different perspective. It's a different way you go after it. And I think that's what you see. You know, Cassano's a pressure fighter. Right. But we know Mel, he can change up his style. We see right. him on the back foot. We see him on the front foot. How do you see this fight playing out? What are the keys to this fight? Well, I just know that we have to continue to be who we prepared ourselves to be. And that we can't, I can't envision that part of it. I just know Sane's gonna be there. Sane's gonna try to come with angles. He's gonna do a lot of different things because I watched him. He's a great fighter, and he does a lot of good stuff. So I think that he's gonna come. He's gonna try to come after, try to take the titles. For sure. I mean, obviously it was a long time ago, but what did you make of Castano defeating Errol Spence in the amateurs? I just talked to him. He said that he knocked Errol down twice in that fight. Oh, I don't know about all that. Now. I mean, for real? That's what he said. He said he knocked Errol I mean, down I, twice. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, I don't Have know. you talked to Errol about him as a fighter? He he, he just said he didn't remember fighting him. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, but if he fought him, he fought him. I mean, I don't know. I mean, listen, if that's what you're hanging your whole height, like Jamel, I'm not going to say what Jamel said, but basically what Jamel said was the answer. Like, you know, I mean, it don't mean nothing. I'm just ambitious. I mean, could you do it to him now? Yeah. And then last thing for me, and we'll get these guys in. What was, what's the, what's been the emphasis in training camp? Like, have you replicated some of the things that you anticipate Castano doing in the ring? Yeah, with your without a doubt, the pressure. Without a doubt, the pressure. Yeah, a lot of pressure, a lot of punches, a lot of pressure, a lot of punches. I think that he's going to do that, and that's the key element. You got, you have to be prepared for that. That part about it. I think that he's a better fighter here than he is here. So it's the difference. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you. Yeah. Um, Derek, go ahead. Did Derek also talk about Mel's mentality going into this fight? You know, it seems like he's undefeated still because he never really got lost. Right, 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 right. So talk about that. Hey, man, he, he's ready, man. He's prepared, man. He's, um, he's here to he's become uh, historical, man. This is a historical fight. I mean, a fight that, think about it. It had never happened before, never in this weight division. Only five other people in five other weight division have done it. So, really, he would be undisputed already. But the WBO now is a significant belt, so now we'll go get that one as well. So, but uh, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal.